welcome to Channel Game IQ. In today's video, we're going to be sinking our teeth into the amazing Vampire The Masquerade Bloodlines 2. We're going to start off with the latest trailer, have a talk about the details of the game, and then have a look at the gameplay. Don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this game. And also, let me know if you've played the original Bloodlines and how this compares to it. This city will bleed you dry. You'll fight over scraps. Safety is bought with blood. Yours. it as much as I do. But I've waited so long. Vampire The Masquerade Bloodlines 2 is an up and coming action role playing video game developed by Hard Suit Labs and published by Paradox Interactive. A sequel to The Vampire The Masquerade Bloodlines 2004, the game is part of the World of Darkness series and based on the tabletop role playing game Vampire The Masquerade. Bloodlines 2 follows a human in 21st century Seattle who is killed and revived as a thin blood vampire with relatively weak vampiric abilities. Hey! I told you shit stacks to stay out of this side. You get your fix when we say so. Now turn around or I'll stomp you into the goddamn mud. Oh? Okay. The game is mainly played in a first person perspective, alternating to a third person for contextual activities. The player assigns their character one of three disciplines, unique and upgradable powers before joining one of the several vampire clans. It's planned for release in 2021 for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S. The game takes place in 21st century Seattle during the holiday season. Set in a world of darkness, the game depicts a world in which vampires, werewolves, demons and other creatures shape human history. The vampires are bound by a code to maintain their secrecy, forbidding the use of vampiric abilities in front of humans and avoid unnecessary killing to preserve the vampires' last shreds of humanity. The vampires are divided into various clans with distinctive traits and abilities. Before the game begins, players grant a vampire character and can select a character background that informs who they were as a human, such as a barrister, career criminal, coroner or a police officer, which each offering different dialogue and interaction options within the game world. The player can engage in side missions away from the main story, some of which can be discovered through exploration. The player possesses a mobile phone and can text non-player characters to obtain information leading to other missions. 
Enemies opposing forces can be dealt with violently, avoided through stealth, or even seduced with significant abilities. Additionally, there are five factions to whom the player can ally themselves. Factions are shaped by ideologies instead of abilities and determine who is friend and foe to the player. They can join multiple factions simultaneously, remaining loyal or working against them from within, and some factions will refuse to work with the player depending on their actions. You. I don't know you. That's a good start. What do you want? You're making the right move. This city, no loyalty at all. Doesn't matter what you do for them. Do they ever bring you up in the ranks? No, just use you when it's convenient. We're all fighting over scraps here. Plenty of cities these nights where, if you're ambitious, you can get ahead. Trust me, you're better off. Funny, I don't remember telling you my name. They sent you, that it. Get close before you make your move. We'll see about that. Okay, rats! Time to earn your cheese! Repeatedly feeding on particular resonances can grant permanent enhancements called merits. Vampires poses an inheritance ability called Soak that provides resistance against ranged attacks. They can also absorb some damage before their health starts to deteriorate. Their supernatural physical abilities allow them to inflict greater damage on humans. As a vampire, the player character needs blood to survive and can feed on humans, taking some or all of their blood. It can also be obtained from rats and blood bags. Heightened vampiric senses can be used to sense resonances in the blood of human victims, indicating their current emotional state, such as fear, desire, pain, anger or joy. Players are penalised for using certain vampiric abilities in front of witnesses. Exposing their existence as a vampire eventually alerts the police. Repeatedly violating the masquerade results in human civilians choosing to avoid the streets entirely and the player being hunted by other vampires. The player character has points representing their humanity. Some actions cost humanity points such as killing innocents. A lower humanity score brings the player character closer to becoming a mindless beast. So that brings us to the end of the video, as always leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this game. Until the next time, thanks for watching Channel Game IQ.